Hello, this is Paul Sutherland coming to you from Plasterville again. Uh, takes me more time to set the equipment up to record than to actually record, so I might as well do a couple sessions here. Today, uh, on this session, I want to talk about the use of the, set, the second string and the fifth string to do sort of descending and ascending runs. And uh, this is using also the knee lever that lowers the second string a half tone and the a floor pedal to raise the the um, fifth string a half tone. If you're in using the key of G, so if you're playing along, Pattern. Uh, that's a poor example, but the pattern is pretty much with the, the A floor pedal down the whole time. You have to ingrain the pattern in your brain because a lot of times you'll be, you want to be using this with fast licks, and it's yeah, you know, it just has to become second nature when you're going to push that knee lever and when you're not. And basically, you use the knee lever in only two locations. You use it uh, in the key of G, it would be when you're on the fifth fret. So, and you use it on the tenth fret. So, everything else, it's no knee lever. So, you, if we start at the third fret, just tons and tons of things you can do and using those kind of licks I still mess up on when to use an e lever but it I'm getting better at it and I'm sure you can too so basically though it's uh, third fret it's fifth and second and just whatever picking pattern you want to use. And then I, I went from the third fret with, um, with uh, the, the A pedal's down through everything. So I'm not going to talk about the A pedal. I'm, it's always down. I'm only going to talk about the knee lever. So third fret, no knee lever. Fifth fret, use the knee lever. Sixth fret, no knee lever. 8th fret, no knee lever. 10th fret, use a knee lever. 11th fret, no knee lever. 13th fret, no knee lever. 15th fret, no knee lever. And, and it's, it sounds like that's not really resolved. Well, it's not. The resolution is on the 4th string. Or the resolution is actually going up 2 frets above what would normally be the no pedal position. So here in the high G, high G, I would be clear up on the, uh, well, let's see, was, uh, 17th fret. That's resolving it on using the second string as a resolution. But, but you, you'll learn, once you learn this pattern, then you learn to come in and out of it, in and out of the pattern as you're using other strings. But you have to know this pattern. Whoops, I messed up. see what can be done there um, it's, it's challenging for sure but the pattern is not that complex um, it's as I say it's just from the open from the no pedal position of whatever key you're in the two frets up um, so here the fifth fret you use an e lever 
and the what would otherwise be your pedals down position so here in the key of G the pedals down position is in 10 at the 10th fret you would use a knee lever there everywhere everywhere else you don't use a knee lever and you you, you go back and forth between the second and fifth string <laughs> That's it. Just work on it and you'll get better. Thanks.